So a seventh YSL member takes a plea deal in the Young Thug Rico case. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So Young Thug's Rico case has seen a seventh YSL affiliate reach a plea deal and secure his release from jail. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Antonio Sledge was sentenced to 15 years probation after pleading guilty to conspiracy to violate the Rico Act and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. The 41-year-old, also known as Munk Tunk, agreed to testify at next month's trial if called on to do so, although he can't invoke his Fifth Amendment rights on the stand. Sledge may have already hurt Young Thug's chances at freedom, though, by admitting that YSL associates killed Donovan Thomas Jr. in 2015 on behalf of YSL, and he and others went to the rapper's house following the murder. Sledge alleged that Thug took care of himself and other affiliates by giving them cash to lay low following Thomas Jr.'s killing. He also acknowledged that a pair of gas stations were used as a location by YSL associates to sell drugs. Although the number of plea deals continue to mount, it's unlikely that Thug will be offered one. Per Atlanta-based reporter George Chitty, prosecutors view him as the target of this case and are seeking a conviction that will keep him behind bars. Previous YSL associates to take plea deals include Gunna, Young Thug's brother Unfunk, Slime Life Shawty, Winnie Lee, Little Duke, Martinez Arnold, YSL co-founder Walter Murphy, and Antonio Obama Sumlin have also pleaded out bringing the number of defendants down to 21 ahead of the January 9th trial. Sumlin pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to violate the RICO Act, two counts of conspiracy to commit a crime, and participation in criminal street gang activity on December 22nd. He was sentenced to 15 years probation as part of his negotiated plea. The 32-year-old is one of the two men prosecutors believed were behind the stabbing of Atlanta rapper YFN Lucci in Fulton County Jail in March. Sumlin and fellow YSL associate Christian Eppinger allegedly worked to get Young Thug's permission to carry out the attack. In more positive news for Young Thug, he scored a legal victory earlier this month when a judge ruled that material seized during a 2015 home raid can't be used against him at trial. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.